how and where you set your live trap will make a huge difference in success and failure. I think that looks pretty good. Good afternoon guys. Look at this beautiful thing here we got in our trap. So uh, here in Florida these guys are illegal to to keep, to harvest, to hunt. And you can't do anything with them. So it's a great fox. We have it rigged up so we can let them go and try to be behind them and we're going to let them go now. I wanted you guys to see. All right, bro, go ahead. In the state of Florida, the taking of the gray fox or the red fox by any method is prohibited. But foxes may be chased with dogs year-round on private lands. Foxes or untanned fox pelts may not be possessed. Habitat. The gray fox is found throughout Florida, though it is much more abundant in the northern part of the state. Normally found in wooden air, wooded areas, it prefers to live uh, in more uh, dense cover. Their main diet consists of mice, rats, and rabbits. Uh, although they will consume almost anything edible. All types of small birds, mammals, reptiles, amphibians, fish, fruits, berries, insects, for the gray fox, mating takes place around January, February, maybe into March. An average of three to five young pups are born after gestation period of about 63 days. They nurse for about two months and stay with their parents until late summer or fall. Both the male and the female provide food, care, and training for the youngsters. The den site may be hollow logs, gopher holes, or hollow trees. Gray fox is seldomly seen because it's a nocturnal animal. It is actually one of the few members of the dog family capable of climbing trees. To climb, they use their front legs to hug the tree trunks while pushing up with their hind legs. To get back down, the gray fox will either move backwards down the vertical tree trunk or run head first down a more slanted tree. Pretty cool tidbit about uh, gray foxes. <laughs> 